I was quite surprised to see what I see here today. It's a fantastic um, opportunity for the city to bring sports back into the community. And Plymouth City Council, working in partnership with Argo Community Trust, are on the sort of cusp of delivering not only some fantastic sports facilities in our city, particularly in Honitno, but also um, providing community space where the community can also just rock up and go for a pint at the end of the day and maybe watch some cricket, watch some football, or just sit, sit down and have a natter with some friends. Well, sadly, in this part of the city, in Honickville, we have very limited community space. But there's an awful lot of social isolation that exists here, some very elderly people. So I'm really excited about being able to sort of help them access this space and use it on behalf of the community. Because what I've heard today is, whilst it sounds very blokish, you know, sports, cricket, football, actually there's a strong desire to integrate with the community and make sure this is a community space that they use and want to be a part of and that ownership is really important. I'm Ben, Activator Officer at Argo Community Trust and I run a session called the Extra Time Hubs. So the session is aimed at people of retirement or semi-retirement age, over 55, and what we try and do is do a lot of different activities, uh, quizzes, competitions, games, mm -hmm. have a bit of singing, have a bit of dancing, just give a chance for people to do, uh, get out of the house and have a go at stuff. Well, I think, you know, the older people, you know, it gives them something to do and get out. As I say, it's very enjoyable and get, you can get to know other people, get them out of the house. Yeah, I like it. Um, we need some in it because we, we haven't got a pub, I think. I mean, you can go up Crown Hill, but to be here on my doorstep is lovely. I come for the walking football for the uh, more senior person, which they hold on a uh, Wednesday morning. It's ideal because I'm not working now, retired. And I think it's brilliant. There's the facilities, now the changing rooms are just about getting open. It's good. Uh, and the pitch is brilliant at all weathers. Uh, and there's plenty of room for so many activities to go on. And the coaches are absolutely brilliant. Um, it's fantastic. You know, the all weather pitch is being used now, 30,000 coming in here. From the local community so that's that's paying off um, once we get the pavilion up and running um, that'll pull the community in even more and then we got the cricket and the extra football pitches so you know it's going to be a great facility for the local community it's just fun because we get to play games like football um, and it and you get to like play with people that you wouldn't know if you hadn't come here I, I'm an introvert, so I don't really get, I don't go outside a lot. Come to one of these so that they can meet people instead of meeting people online, and so that they can um, have the freedom to talk to people instead of worrying and maybe increase confidence and everything. Like the groups we've got here tonight is top two are the deaf team, which are in the sort of like Prem 1 level. Then we've got another Prem 1 level team, which are more mental health. A couple of other groups who are like, more visually impaired, uh, more uh, physical disabilities, do you know what I mean, that you've got. So when they come up, it'll just be like football training sessions, so they do lots of passing, lots of shooting and lots of games. Right. It gets me out the eye, so it's all fun. Normally I just stay in and don't do nothing, so it's all right, it is. Met a bu good bunch of boys, so it's fun. I would put it ah yeah. Put it ah yeah. I'm going here. Yeah, I think. As well, we're hearing people. But we're the same. But they can hear. We can't. But we can communicate. I think that's which. It's different. Ah yeah. But I'm fishing. There's a lot. I'm hearing people's ears. There's a lot. So I'm just going to sit here and have a bit of fun. It's a team effort. Everybody's working together. Everybody's joining up. Um, and. Obviously, with what Plum Fargo Community Trust does and Mickey does in general, it all shows that it doesn't matter your ability, you can all join up, you can all be part of a team. Well, what they've actually done here is on the lower floors, there's the sports related stuff, but on the upper floors is the community space. And that community space is very neutral, so it's not going to be, you know, Argo, it's not going to be cricket, it is just going to be an ordinary space that we can all partake in. And I know I'll, I'll do my bit to make sure that the voice of that community is heard and, and they, do get, they do partake in exactly what this is about.